I always pick up scrap lumber if anyone's throwing it out. This happens to be an old table leaf. Uh, it's a walnut table. Really nice wood and I biscuit joined a couple pieces together to make a disc and I'm going to make a little end table out of it. I start by uh, making a band for the edge of it and it's just out of 8th inch thick by 2 inch steel bar and I just put it through the ring roller to get the shape I desire and that roughly kind of fits around the wood this doesn't have to be perfect you can always pound it out and kind of cut it later and such see if you don't have a ring roller you could probably just hand roll it around there so I weld the gap together and then I'm, after I'm done that, the way I size the ring is while the weld is hot, I kind of pound on it. And if it doesn't fit onto the table, I'll take it back to the anvil there and I'll pound it some more and it'll stretch that weld out. Uh, it doesn't even really need to be hot to do that. And you're, it's amazing how much larger you can make that ring just by pounding on it. It ended up fitting pretty good, just by luck actually. And then I decided to go with a hairpin leg on this table. So um, because of the round shape, I thought that three legs would be ideal. So here I'm just marking out the three points on the circle, dividing it into thirds. To do that, you just use the radius of the circle. And from the bottom of the circle, you measure that radius over to either side. And that gives you the three sections of the pie. The legs are just 3 8 round bar, I just bent it in the vise. And this is not the ideal way of doing it, but this is the only method I have. Um, just go ahead and kind of tweak them in the vise to get them straight. In order to get any kind of repeatability at all out of this, what I did is I marked on my workbench a center line and then also the full height of the leg and then you can see at the top of the table I have two little marks and that's where I want my ends of my hairpin to, to end up so I just go keep tweaking it in the vise until all my three points of contact end up right. You see my right hand leg is a little out so I'm just kind of tweaking it a little and that's the only way you can really get anything to be make three that are even remotely close to similar so the table sits straight. Then just using a square just to get it fairly uh, straight up and down off the table, I just tacked the legs on. Then I kind of tweaked it a little bit after that. Now the table, the wood is only kind of press fit into that ring right now. So to you know, it, it's probably going to shrink over time. And what I did to combat this is. I put in three brass dowels which I glued into the wood and I put it in between the legs and three points all the way around so it actually locks that piece of wood in there and it kind of gives a neat look it's almost like a rivet and uh, you'll see later once I buff the edge of that table up it kind of makes it interesting and I just went around and with just a buffing pad kind of polished up the edge polished up all the welds and I wanted to kind of have an industrial look anyways, so just kind of, you know, went with whatever I felt looked cool. Um, I always seal my metal with Penetrol. Um, it's actually a additive for paint, but I was told by somebody, I'm not sure who even, I think I just found it on the internet, that when you soak metal in this, it kind of seals it and it stops the rust from continuing. And I've got some tables in the house that I've had for quite some time and they haven't rusted with that on it. Then just finish the top off with some linseed oil. It's not a really big project, but it's you know it's something that you could easily do yourself and it's a good way to use some old lumber. I think the finished product is a pretty unique piece. Uh, hairpin legs. You got these little brass dowels as accents, and the the wood turned out really nice too. I kind of like the, uh, you know, shows little welds, little blackness.
It's just going to be a little end table for beside a recliner in my house. So, Fun little project, pretty easy to do if you have a welder, and pretty good results.